Cougar here, and I'm here with my best friend, Quackington. Quackington. Yeah, hello. And to uh, celebrate me reaching 54 subscribers, since that is such a huge number, we are going to read probably the best piece of literature ever written in history, and that is Baby It's Cold, One Direction Fan Fiction. So I will be reading the the voice of Rose, and my friend Quackington will be Harry. I apologize for his atrocious mic sound. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I do apologize, but... All right, you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right. Harry, just a minute, we're lost! We're not lost. Harry, we're lost! We're not lost. Harry! I shrieked, slapping my bare legs and instantly regretting it. Ow! We are lost. We have been driving around with me as well be a damn desert. Where in England there is no comparison. Harry muttered offhandedly, For nearly two hours you have no idea when you're going and where to be late to Mrs. McGillick's Christmas party. Rose. Harry yelled, looking at me. We're not lost. We both stopped hearing a weird sound coming from... Oh no, wait. Harry, please tell me the car is meant to make that noise and I'm just not used to it because we're only... Yeah. I'm clutching the door. This wasn't happening. This wasn't happening. This wasn't happening. No way was this happening. Of course, that's the next exact moment the car decided to stop. As if things could not get any more worse. It was bad enough that I was going to see Liam at this stupid party for the first time since, well, everything. Not to mention, I'd barely seen any of the boys anyway, plus in fact, the fact that Soph was coming with her parents and Adam so was going to be freaking out about them behaving with the added pressure of her refusing to acknowledge her and Zane were made out for each other being engaged in all. With all the greater added damn of being not only stuck in a car with Harry, of all people, Mr. Strange himself but totally avoiding Australia for Christmas, not out of choice. Though, to be fair, I'd been planning on Christmasing in London anyway this year. But because my family were evil and had invented Ryan over for holidays, because my mom want me to die alone. What even? Rose, I have something to tell you. Harry told me to break the silence and the mental screaming of me as I totally freaked. We ran out of petrol. Lies! As it was all lies! I squeezed my eyes shut, pretending I couldn't hear it. Not happening, I muttered to myself. Not happening, not happening, not happening. And we've got no... S and we've got none spare in the car. So not happening, I repeated. It was like a mantra. The more I said it, the more it was meant to work, right? So not happening. So not happening. And we're lost. What are you, mentally deficient? I yelled, whacking Harry as hard as I could in the arm. And no way, this was no time to be a fangirl. I was over that. With Harry, anyway. Our feast meeting had been false bloody advertising, okay? False advertising! I've been just trying to tell you for the last century now that we are lost when we're in and I looked outside only to be greeted by the bleak landscape of nothing. Just one single road and fucking grass. Only this was not happening. Where the hell even are we? Um, I Harry don't coughed know. awkwardly. <laughs> I don't know. The tubs! Tom -toms. It's not <laughs> working! The Tom Tom's not working! What do you mean the damn Tom Tom's not working? The duh. I took a deep breath. I would not lose it. I mean, it was only a Christmas party with everyone I knew, 
and a paranoid Liam, and a freaking out best friend Soph, and a relatively e evil, though albeit sexy, fiancé Zane in Zane's home, who, by the way, was a member of One Direction, and come, come, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Harry, I said in a strenuously low voice, I think I'm going to stab you to death with my eye lang there. I can check the boo. Don't open that door! I yelled practically frantic into Harry's lap to stop him from opening the door. I looked up from his lap, feeling my eye beginning to twitch. Somebody had to die, okay? And soon. We don't have any goddamn gas, and it's practically zero degrees out there. So he can't warm up again. And you may be used to living in fucking Antarctica, but I came from a place where we have chilled fruit juice at all this time of year to celebrate the Yule Land festivals. So unless you want me to slowly freeze to Sam Javetier, shut up, Harry, as my ice cold heart and take down with me. Don't fucking move. Slowly, Harry released the door handle, keeping it closed. You haven't got an ice cold heart. Harry, shut up! I frantically screamed. I would not cry. I would not cry. I would not cry. Ah, why was I... Every kind of strong emotion, not even all strong emotion, conducted to my dear ducks. Oh my god, I have no signal. Perfect. Do you? My phone battery died three hours ago. Harry told me slowly. I was going to charge it at Zane's. Will you remember going past any signs? I asked desperately. I had to be logical. For God's sakes, what use was a psychic degree? Now, if I couldn't similarly remember shit and whatever, I knew I should have taken journalism. Never did any bad to self. What was I saying? What was I saying? I love psychology. Off the point ending. Stop here. Probably the best piece of literacy in history, as I said before. Baby, I'm. I think it's cold by I don't know who because it's untitled at some fan fiction net. But anyway, wait, 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 part wait, two will be coming soon. It. Um, give me a second. No, I can find it, don't give worry. Give me a second. I can find it. Chapter end note. Um, after that, uh, 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 Albion description. <laughs> I can't find it. <laughs> Okay, it'll be in the description, maybe. Uh, we don't know. But anyway, again, we hope you enjoyed. And part two will be coming soon because you can't tell us not to do it. Yes. Have a nice day. Thank this you. is Super Sunny.